What's up everybody, hope you're all staying safe, and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, as I'm sure you guys full well know, there was a massive quarantine watch party for the writers for Avengers Infinity War, where there were a few pretty big massive revelations, including why Odin has what seems to be an Infinity Gauntlet, and way more. But today, I wanted to focus on one of the biggest, and an explanation that actually differs from the viewpoint of the Russo brothers, the directors of Endgame as well as Infinity War. In Avengers Endgame, when Captain America America finally picks up Thor's hammer, it's one of the most satisfying moments in film history. But this was not the first time that Cap attempted to pick up Mjolnir. He actually also did so in sort of fun and games way in Age of Ultron, where in its opening, all of the Avengers were attempting to lift Thor's hammer following a party, a scene that I'm sure we all remember. According to the Russo brothers, when they talked about Age of Ultron in relation to Endgame and Captain America lifting Thor's hammer, this was their explanation. That Cap Captain America was fully capable of lifting up Mjolnir in Age of Ultron. He simply didn't want to, however, because he didn't want to hurt Thor's feeling, caring more about the well-being of his friend than lifting up Mjolnir just in that moment. However, during the watch party, it was revealed that the writers for Infinity War as well as Endgame had a very different explanation for Captain America lifting Mjolnir in Age of Ultron. When asked about this moment, this was their response. I'd say Cap is not completely worthy yet. He still has the secret of Tony's parents' death to resolve before he fully becomes worthy of Mjolnir. So straight from the mouth of the writers of Avengers Infinity War, Captain America is not fully worthy in Age of Ultron, which is only why he's able to slightly budge the hammer and not pick it up. I actually like this explanation a great deal, and I feel it fits in better with the universe. It also makes the moment in Captain America Civil War more impactful. The idea that again in Tony Stark's eyes, this perfect man has somewhat betrayed him by keeping his parents' death a secret for so many years. And it's only after he comes to terms with that and resolves his disagreements with Tony in Avengers Endgame that he's able to pick up Mjolnir. I like this explanation far, far more than the fact that Captain America could always pick up the hammer he he just decided not to. Because going back and watching that scene in Age of Ultron, I don't always get that impression. I genuinely feel as if in that moment, Captain America is unable to pick up Mjolnir. But what are your guys' thoughts on this brand new explanation? And which explanation do you consider canon to the Marvel Universe? Do you like the fact that Captain America was always capable of picking up Mjolnir, he just decided not to? Or do you like the explanation that Cap was somewhat not completely worthy in this moment, and therefore was unable to pick up up Mjolnir all of the way. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.